Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another episode of To Boost or Not To Boost. In this series, I try out various amplifiers with and without a boost pedal up front, just to see if the tone with the pedal improves the sound of the amplifier or not. So it's a fun little tone journey, basically. And in this episode, we're gonna check out the Laney Ironheart 60 IRT60H tube amplifier head. And we're gonna try this amplifier with my LTD EC401 Eclipse baritone guitar, the 27 inch monster with the EMG pickups in it. It's tuned to drop A flat. And because of the EMGs, this guitar already sounds pretty tight, but this Laney is a bit on the fat and loose side, so perhaps this amp and that guitar can benefit from a boost pedal. So I'm excited to see whether or not this amp benefits from a boost pedal up front or not. Let's start by taking a listen to the pure amplifier, so without a boost pedal up front. I'm on the lead channel, but to add some gain, I am using the built-in gain boost function. It's a kind of neutral boost, so it basically just adds gain. It doesn't really change the character as a tube screamer or something like that would. And for high gain tones, I think that this amplifier really benefits from that boost, because without the boost on, there just isn't enough gain for a good rock and metal high gain rhythm or lead tone. So whenever I use this amplifier, I basically always have the pre-boost on. For the EQ controls, I've got a subtle V curve going on. So boosting the bass a bit, boosting the treble a bit and cutting the mid somewhat. And I've got the bass control pulled out for a bit more of an extended low end, which is a cool function of this amplifier, by the way. The dynamics control, which is a sort of resonance control, is set to around two o'clock, as well as the tone control, which is basically a presence control. The amp is going into my Red 7 amplification Amp Central reactive load as per usual and then into a York Audio impulse response from the MES 212V30 package on Mic Mix 01 to be precise. Okay, let's go ahead and take a listen right now. Cool, I really dig how this amp sounds. A really full wall of sound mid-range going on with a nice and solid chunk. And this amp also has a very interesting and unique power amp sag going on, which is kind of interesting sounding and quite unique to this amplifier, to be honest. I dig it. Now let's put a boost pedal up front to see if we can tighten up the tone, give the tone a bit more focus and a bit more of a sort of place in the mix that works well for a guitar, which of course is a mid-range instrument. And for the boost, of course, we're gonna use my Laney Black Country Customs Steel Park pedal, which is an awesome overdrive or boost pedal. Kind of like a hot rodded tube screamer with a bit more added functionality and stuff. I really love this thing. I'm boosting some level, cutting some lows, and also boosting some treble or tone. Let's see how this sounds with the exact same amp settings going on. Here we go.
Great. I really like how this pedal enhanced the tone of this amplifier, at least with this guitar and these riffs. It surely tightened up the low end and gave the guitars a bit more focus in the mid range as well. So instead of sounding a bit larger in the life with that extended and big low end that baritone guitars do tend to have, the guitars now have a better place in the mix, so to speak. They're not getting in the way of the other instruments like the drums and bass, for example, as much as before. So for this guitar and these riffs, I do think that the boost is an improvement. Now let's also check out an AB back to back comparison so you can hear both options side by side with both the boost with both the boost off and on. Here we go. Great, now also with just the isolated guitars. Great! So as I said earlier, I do think that this amplifier sounds great and very unique. The mid-range is great and huge, it has a big wall of sound going on, but the low end is a little bit loose and the power amp has some interesting compression going on as well. So in this case, I do think that this amplifier benefits from the boost up front and I think that the Laney Black Country Custom Steel Park does a great job once again. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below which of the sounds you preferred. Did you prefer the amplifier without the boost pedal up front or did you prefer the tone with the boost pedal up front? Let me know. That's all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons down below as that really helps out the channel. I'd hugely appreciate that. And you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys very soon. Cheers.